The emphasis changes to the intricate relationships between Hack and Jessica's separate families in Chapter 1358. Jessica worries about the safety of her family because, she thinks, the unidentified woman who gave her a mission might be out to get them. Hank hesitantly agrees to her request that he transport her back to the countryside where she lives. He has never felt comfortable going to see Jessica's parents. He feels like his mother-in-law uses him as an ATM every time she sees him continuously complaining about her ailments and missing basic requirements. Despite these unsettling meetings, Hank and Jessica's relationship is strengthened by Jessica's love for him and her constant support throughout their marriage talks, including when they secretly got married without Jessica's parents' knowledge. Financial difficulties and demands from both sides of the family are faced by the couple. Jessica's family agrees to a more affordable bride price, but insists that Hank's family, the Browns, pay for the wedding banquet. The couple consents to this plan so that both families can celebrate jointly, albeit in a casual restaurant rather than a luxurious hotel. Her family gives her a couple bedding sets as dowry, but they anticipate her to use her own funds if she wants a more expensive dowry. Both the Yates and the Browns are aware that Jessica has saved money from her job, and each family has a different idea of what Jessica should do with it. Jessica's mother berates her for not making more financial contribution to the family despite her education and income. After getting married, Jessica will not touch her savings and will treat them as part of her personal property. She wants to keep her independence and avoid the same financial issues that Hank's ex-wife Liberty experienced. Therefore, she does not want to exclusively rely on him for assistance. She intends to look for work after the wedding is finished and Sony's custody dispute is over. Even if it means working as a regular clerk or opening her own business. Hank expresses his displeasure with Jessica's parents as he gets ready to send Jessica off at the entrance to her housing area. He dislikes the repeated pleading for money while acting ill or short on home goods. He wonders why Jessica's brothers don't help maintain their parents and reminds them that they have the bride price he gave them, which ought to provide some financial assistance. The different financial expectations and family dynamics between Hank and Jessica are highlighted in this chapter. It emphasizes their resolve to uphold their own financial independence while overcoming the difficulties presented by their relatives' demands and financial constraints.